Hey everybody, so today I have here is the A2159 2019 MacBook Pro that's in here. It's a melon, 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 melon. It's a melon and we have it in here for repair. It's liquid spill and there's no power. We love when you guys mail and stuff, so let's go ahead, take a look, see really what the problem is, and really go from there. All right, let's go ahead, uh, check it out, see what the problem is, see what we got in here. So let's go check our voltages, just like we always like to do first, see what the problem is. All right, we're getting five volts, no amps. That's always a fun one. We love five volts, no amps, right? Usually some type of liquid spill and usually some type of maybe USB-C IC, the short, uh, lots of different things on this model. Five volts, two amps, five volts, zero amps on each one. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look to see. Let's go ahead and open it up. Let's get our gloves on. Let me make sure I get, I have my cold brew coffee here. I'm gonna make sure to put this to the side, drink a little bit of that. Man, they make it so harsh. Oh, jeez, a lot of caffeine. All right, let me go get my gloves on real quick, and we'll go ahead and open up this pretty boy. Oops, I think I have a few things next to me. Don't mind that as a surface, just doing some transferring everything. Let's go ahead and open it and see what we got. All right, I do see a little bit of liquid. There's a little bit even on the back cover here. You can see the areas, so we can focus on those areas, right? Over here, that's probably where the battery is. So it looks like there's a drip along the side here and yeah all in this area so there's probably a little bit of spill the one here and that makes sense because there is some liquid stickiness here um does look to been opened this thing this little flap is up battery connection is removed um so it definitely hasn't been opened before and we can even see for some of the speakers that there's a little bit you see that white right right next to my finger on the speaker that means that usually it's a little bit stripped. It's not a perfect screwdriver that did go in there. It looks like it has been trying to take it up. But why would the speaker really need to be removed for board level repair? I don't know. But I guess maybe there's a problem with the speaker too. Who knows? Or it's been opened or attempted to have been opened before. That's most likely the problem. If it's been done by another shop, usually the big there's a big chance for, for unsuccessful repair. And per our policy, we usually don't take in devices that have been uh, attempted been repaired by another shop because what the problem is, it's not about repairing the problem. It's about it's not repairing the main liquid spill problem it's about repairing whatever the other shop did first and then doing the repair for the for the liquid spill or not knowing what they did not knowing what they removed not knowing what caps they might have removed replace what they really did already and then they came to the conclusion of what we don't know that especially if there's liquid spill repairs if um, it's good to see the liquid damage to see where the corrosion is if you clean it up or you try to fix it then we're not going to know where exactly it is and then troubleshooting makes it a lot more difficult and the chances for repair significantly go down uh, that's why if you ever spill liquid or ever have trouble just bring it in right away well you'll have a much higher chance for repair and uh, we do a really good job we specialize in them so just fyi uh but let's go ahead let's go remove this board uh, see what we can do and we'll go from there we got the, the board out here we're gonna go ahead and check under the microscope to see the damage there so we're focused on this area and uh, this area usually has to do with the lcd backlight let's just go ahead and bring up our board view just real quick if i go ahead and switch to that so this whole area has to do with the backlight and our one that's that's a bit damaged here is a c6902 this is pv vin a g3 hot p3 b3 g3 hrt say that five times quick if you really can but that's the one we need to replace so we're going to go back to our actual board here we're going to be doing the repair so we're going to go to uh, do our cleaning here. We're going to put some flux and we want to make sure this whole area is going to be nice and clean because we don't want any stickiness, any nastiness to be touching it when we put our brand new cap on there. So it's really nasty. Uh, we definitely want to remove it and replace it. And you can see actually the damage of it. If I actually flip it over and you can see how nasty it is. You can see all the little black spots over it. That's on the bottom of it. That's where it's making the connection there. And we need to make sure that the connection is totally clean and we want to make sure that there is no goop or any stickiness that's going to make a connection with our connection here because we're going to have the same problem all over again. We don't want to let it short out. So we're just going to go ahead, replace it with another C6902 here and make sure it's going to be all nice and dandy. So we're just going to solder it back on with our new cap. 
and it's going to look pretty good. That area looks to be pretty clean. We don't, we don't have to worry about our other areas on the side there because they're not making contact with any anything else and there's no caps to be in the way. But uh, we just we will clean up just a little bit more because the area still is a little bit sticky, a little bit nasty. So we'll work on that a little bit more, but it's not really necessary to be showing it. And our second area is going to be the U8400. So we are going to be bringing up the board view back for this one, and we're going to be focusing on this area. We're going to do a nice little reflow for the U8400. It doesn't necessarily need to be replaced. We never want to replace it unless you absolutely have to, unless it's too damaged there. And then we're also going to be focusing on this cap here, 8440. And what you uh, and if you haven't guessed it already, this whole area where we just replaced the cap, the C6902 and the U8400, all this has to do with LCD uh, backlight. So this is an important one to replace, obviously, because it's really damaged and it's really corroded. So let's go ahead and do that. We're just going to be doing some flux. We want to make sure we clean. Uh, the whole area here and you can see the damage and just how nasty it is and we just need to go ahead and replace it and then we're going to be cleaning a little bit under the U8400 and we're going to make sure it's all nice and dandy there. Um, the cap really wasn't too bad you can see how clean it is at least the pad for it is there but we want to make sure that nothing really gets underneath the U8400 we want to make sure it's totally clean so we can do a nice little just alcohol here um, do this, a very small reflow and that should actually be okay. Now we're going to go ahead and replace the, the C eight four four zero and we want to make sure we put another cap just right in there brand new one and it's going to be all nice and good to go that looks great all right so now we're going to be mo moving on up in the world we're going to be going places we're going to go back all the way up here and you can see this damaged area and you can see how nasty this cap is up here that's exactly where that little sticky stain is actually there look how nasty it is. i'm going to try to make sure we carve it up a little bit but it's going to be nasty. Switch back to our um, board view, and we're going to see what this area is. So it's not too far. You can see if we actually go over here, we, we are, here's our U8400. Here's our backlight area that we were at before. We're actually going to go scroll up here. This is where we're focused on, the C6455. Um, looks like there's a PB bus, a G3 hot. Looks like it has to do with the speaker because it says SPK, so that's usually a speaker. Um, especially how close it is to the speaker connection. It's all the way on the other side here. But we're going to go ahead and put some flux there. And what we want to do here is just touch it up a little bit with our hot iron. We're going to actually put some a solder there. And what that's going to do is we're going to actually clean it up a little bit this way uh, because of see how much how, cor how corroded it is, how much damage is actually there. And it's going to be easier to remove this way to reestablish a connection and then take off uh, safely. So we're going to go ahead and do that. It's nice and clean. And touch up both sides to it too. It's going to be real easy to remove then. All right, so it's all good. Now we just need to remove it and put some hot air. You can go ahead and take it up. See how nasty it is, man. Nasty. And even look at the connection. The pad actually isn't too bad. We still need to clean it up a little bit, but you can see how nasty our cap is there. It's disgusting. It's sticky all over it's black over there's no way we could definitely put this back so we definitely need to get another one and we need to clean up this area just a little bit more because we need to make sure we have a nice connection um, for our solder points and our pads and we want to make sure it's nice so we can just touch up the pads just a little bit with some solder uh, we already did that before but this is going to be a little bit nicer it's going to make a nice connectivity and it's going to uh, also at the same time clean the whole area if there's any um, extra debris which there is and just nastiness there so we're going to clean that up and then we can go ahead and uh, put some flux and then we can go and put our brand new cap on there. Now let's go ahead and see if it works. Alright, so let's go ahead plug this in. I don't have everything plugged in but it should be enough to turn on and especially with the trackpad in it won't go crazy with the fan hopefully. But we need something. Uh, so I plug it in, let's see, 20 volts, that's good. 0 0.13 Amps, 0.19, fan spin right there, that's good. Let's see if we get, oh, and we get a display there. So it looks like it's powering on. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on the A2159 2019 MacBook Pro 13-inch repair. If you did, please hit that like button. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. We do lots of stuff like this, lots of boiler repairs, liquid spoiler repairs, uh, data recoveries if you're interested in that, PCB repair, anything. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's related. Um, we even show you guys some issues if there's any software issues that are well known or something that we see that's pretty cool go ahead and check us out and we'll see you guys in the next video bye